Hello, this is now the part 3 or the continuation of lesson 2 of week number 2. Let's go to our last vector, which is a case, which is a vector at an angle with its other. How about if the vector is perpendicular? Example, at an angle, I have already written the samples here so that we can utilize our time. Example, we have vector in at an angle, case number 3, letter C, at an angle, vector at an angle. So, we have two vectors here. Vector A is 30 newtons is vector B is 40 newtons north. Of course, we have to set the scale. So, 1 centimeter is equals to 10 newtons. First, let us have to grab vector A. Vector A is 30 newtons is, again, Vector A is equals to 30 newtons times in every 1 cm, we have 10 newtons. Cancel out, cancel out. This will give you 30 newtons, uh, 30 centimeters, sorry, 30 centimeters over 10. So, cancel out, 0, 0. That would give you 3. 3 centimeters. And do the rest for vector B. This is 4 centimeters. So let's try to grab our vector, vector A. Vector A is um, here. That's um, 4 centimeters. Uh, I mean 3 centimeters. So from here, that's 3. This is now our vector vector A, 30 newtons. And vector B is going to north. So if this is east, head to tail from the head of that first vector. So that's 4. This is 4. The north is uh, going upward. So, I will use red ball pen here so that you can see. And this is vector B. Vector B is uh, 40 newtons. And obviously, the resultant vector according to the definition is the can be drawn from the tail of the first vector to the tip of the last vector or head of the last vector. So, this is, this is now the resultant vector. Okay, now solve for resultant vector. All you need to do is to measure manually the vector here, the length or the magnitude of the vector here using our ruler. So from that point to this point, uh, let us say, you can try this one in your, in your uh, ruler. I think I'm seeing 5, 5 centimeters. So this is 5 centimeters. It, depend, it depends on the accuracy and precision of your measurement. But in, in my case, I, I uh, based on my measurement here, I think uh, the point of origin from, that, from the head of that uh, vector is uh, at 5 centimeters length. So, this is 5 centimeters length. So, the resultant vector is equals to 5 centimeters. Convert this one into newtons. 5 cm times uh, in every 1 centimeter, we have 10 newtons. Cancel out. 5 times 10 will give you 50 newtons over 1. That would give you the same result, 50 newtons. So, the resultant vector here is uh, 50 newtons. How about the direction of the, how about the direction of the vector or the angle of the vector? So, in uh, finding the angle of the vector, we just use our protractor. So, from this point,
And manually, I will measure this one. Again, depending on the accuracy and precision of your measurement. But in this case, I will I will just base my answer on what I'm seeing here. So you look for the for the resultant vector here. I think this is this resultant vector is aligned at the value of some somewhat uh, fifty. If this is fifty. 51, 52, 53, somewhat in 53 degrees, I think, 53, based on what I'm seeing here in my in my measurement. So this is 50, 53 degrees. So assuming that this, uh, my measurement is in 53 or 54, there, I think it's, it's, it's 53. So 53 degrees. Now to gives the final answer or to express the final answer for this case number three you just simply write back resultant vector is equals to 15 newtons and then get the first uh, this uh, first uh, uh, direction is and then get the angle 53 and then the last direction which is north so this is now the final answer for vectors vectors that uh, are in a perpendicular orientation. So for vectors A, B, the resultant vector of that is 50 newtons is 53 degrees north. So that is how uh, we solve or we find the value for resultant vector when the vectors are at an angle or perpendicular to each other. You can post this video and copy this um, solution. So that would be all. Thank you so much. Uh, if you have some clarifications regarding the concepts, theories, and uh, principles that have been presented in this video, let me know in our group chat so that uh, I could answer your, or uh, I could clarify your queries. Thanks for watching and uh, see you in the next video.